Ah, the golden arches. The North Star for obese American children. The bat symbol for drunk college kids after last call. The gateway to the godfather of all fast food restaurants, McFucking Donald's. Over 99 billion served. With 9 billion people on the planet, that means the average Earthling has eaten at McDonald's 11 times. Pretty impressive. This may be an emotional episode for me, y'all. I loved McDonald's as a kid. They had playgrounds, kids had birthday parties there, and the meals even came with toys. And what appropriately named meals they were. Because at that time, all I could think about was how happy I was. But it turned out that to my generation, McDonald's was what cigarettes were to my grandparents' generation. We didn't know it was bad for us. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. All right, McDonald's. I like to think of it as not McDonald's. I like to think that McDonald's is actually owned by a guy named Donald, who's a rapper. I'm MC Donald, my clown's named Ronald. My soda's in a cup, bitch, it ain't bottled. We got the medium french fries, the filet of fish sandwich, the classic Big Mac, the McChicken, the six piece chicken McNuggets with sweet and sour sauce, a straight up cheeseburger, and of course, a salad. Let's start with the french fries. McDonald's doesn't just use preservatives in their french fries, they use really powerful preservatives. You've probably found a McDonald's french fry underneath your couch at one point, and it looked exactly the same as it did two years ago when you bought it. This thing's gonna preserve its original shape longer than a mummified Egyptian pharaoh. The same shit that they used to put in Joan River's face, they put in McDonald's french fries. After the apocalypse, the only things left on Earth will be rats, roaches, and McDonald's french fries. Unless I fucking eat them all first. Since these french fries are so unnatural yet so good, I'm gonna give these a rating of two very well done fake breasts. Let's try the cheeseburger. Dude, look at that. Look how you can't even, holy shit, man. Look how thin that, there's, that's incredible. You literally can't see the burger at all when it serves you. Let's dissect this thing. You got some ketchup and mustard, sorta. Look how just pathetic that looks, dude. Holy shit. But you know, not everything looks great. This cheeseburger is like a parent that beats their kid a little bit too much. Like, it's kind of bad, but you still love it. And it's just so familiar. A little tip for you kids out there. Anything at McDonald's is better if you dip it in sweet and sour sauce. For me to tell you what a McDonald's cheeseburger tastes like, it's pretty ridiculous. But if I was shit-faced and it was 3 a.m., it would taste really good. I kind of accidentally bit this thing into the shape of a three, so I give this cheeseburger a three. You can decide what it's out of. Next, we're gonna try the mixed chicken. Let's examine this bad boy. The bun is the same bun that's used on the cheeseburger. Uh, there's some mayonnaise and <laughs> The amount of lettuce that's on this is like one third of what's on a Taco Bell taco, and that's not saying much. At least you can see the meat sticking out the side, unlike the cheeseburger. I feel like the guy who invented Chick-fil-A took a bite of this and was inspired by the mediocrity of this, and he said, I need to make a better, oh, like, look at that, like, uh, that's a lot of mayonnaise right there, but the, the chicken is just not up to par. Let's go back to my old joke. I'm gonna call this MC Chicken and do a real quick rap about it real quick. I'm MC Chicken and I'm not that great, but I'm only a dollar, so you can't really hate. Let's go to these McNuggets. Dead ass serious, when I was young, I worked at McDonald's, and uh, when I worked there, I probably ate 30 of these things a day. Like, I think in recent years they've improved the McNugget, man. This thing's actually pretty good. This shit right here, expand the size like that, bam, put it on a bun, better McChicken. McDonald's should hire me. I'm pretty sure that before McDonald's, the word nugget was only used to describe pieces of gold. So these are pretty accurately named considering how many of these they've sold in the past 50 years or whatever. I mean, this, this was the real, real golden ticket. Another staple that McDonald's has had ever since I can remember is the filet of fish First off, it's the same bun from both the McChicken and the cheeseburger. We got a little square of fried fish, some gross looking tartar sauce. I don't know if you guys knew this, but on every filet of fish, they have a half a slice of American cheese. And you know, considering how many McDonald's there are, that little half a slice American cheese, for them to only use half the American cheese, that's like $2 million difference right there. Probably $2 billion difference right there. Let's taste this fish. Ah, 
I don't like this. That's horrific. That tastes so bad. I don't remember the filet of fish tasting that bad, ma'am. The combination of tartar sauce, a half a slice of American cheese, and Fukushima radiation just doesn't have the delightful zest you want out of a fast food fish sandwich. <laughs> I'm shocked that that thing still exists. I'm shocked that people buy that. I give that filet of fish a zero stars. And when I say that, I want you to see the empty stars, like the way they do Yelp reviews, so you can see just all empty stars. Let's keep this party moving, shall we? Look at that. The biggest of the Macs. Back in the day, Criss Cross was composed of the Mac Daddy and Daddy Mac. But true Americans know that the real Mac is whatever. <laughs> all right, let's dissect this thing a little bit, all right? Look at this fucking. If you hung these things on a fucking clothespin, it would really just wave back and forth. You know, it's really not solid. Maybe I should have got the quarter pounder with cheese, but like, you can, can you see both my eyes? There's two pickles and there's the special sauce. I guess uh, Mr. McDonald or whoever is trying to keep the special secret sauce a secret, but I'm pretty sure it's this Thousand Island dressing and I'm also pretty sure I don't really want to make it anyway, so I'm not trying to steal the recipe. When you get a burger at In-N-Out Burger, animal style, they have the same kind of sauce. If In-N-Out Burger is animal style, this is like the smallest of all animals. This is like ant style, this is insect style. It's just not up to par. McDonald's is like if you have an uncle that lives way far away growing up, but he still sends you a toy for Christmas and you always love that uncle, that's what he's like. McDonald's gave me toys and let me play on their playground as a kid. So in the back of my mind, I feel like I'm supposed to like this shit, but in reality, this is terrible food. Lastly, since I've been eating all this unhealthy shit, I decided I would get a salad. You know what's interesting? This is a true story. I ordered all this shit, and uh, in two seconds, everything was ready. And this took like five minutes to get, this salad. You know why? Because nobody orders salads from McDonald's. McDonald's is not made for getting salads. McDonald's is for burgers and junk food. Getting a salad at McDonald's is like buying a heartfelt hug from a prostitute. Getting a salad at McDonald's is like having your baby delivered at an abortion clinic. <laughs> it's just, it's the opposite of what they special in, getting health food from a junk food place. It's like if you own pigs and you hired the big bad wolf to build their houses. Can't you just see him walking onto the job site eating a BLT? Got some Italian dressing. I don't know how, but somehow this salad, it doesn't even, it doesn't even taste like lettuce. How'd they fuck that up? This salad, it looks, it looks like spinach and field greens and romaine lettuce. This tastes like if you took a lawnmower bag after you cut your lawn and put it in, like it literally tastes like grass clippings. Like you, somebody emptied a landscaper's lawnmower bag into a little plastic thing and then gave it to me. That's why it took so long. I'm gonna give McDonald's one chance to redeem itself. Dessert time, I'm gonna eat an apple pie. Holy shit. Look at that thing, dude. The surface of the apple pie actually looks like the surface of the moon as drawn by the guy who draws Ren and Stimpy. Hot. This is good, man. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Like I did with the apple at Panera Bread, I give this thing an A for apple. I'm gonna burn the fuck out. That apple pie was delicious. Now it's time to Mick get the fuck out of here. McDonald's, more like Mick dog shit. This place sucks, but at least they have this beautiful playground. I give McDonald's a four out of 10. If you do come here, get chicken McNuggets and an apple pie. I'm gonna go play on this playground. I don't take no